guys, what's up? This is Tom from TDD Tops Tech Time. Guys, life in jail can be more than boring. You could get hit by some stupid dudes. You get bread and butter and water, fresh water maybe even. And you don't have to drink out of the rinse. Um, actually guys, today we're talking about the no-fly zones. Um, actually saying you want to get awesome shots of these planes. Want to fly over them with your Phantom 2 Vision Plus or whatever. I know guys, it would look awesome. But guys, better don't do it. I mean, only do it if you like bread and butter only. Let's take a look at Category A no-fly zones. Usually Category A covers large airports such as JFK in New York, Charles de Gaulle en Paris, Ben Gurion in Tel Aviv, Shudu Guoji Jiang. Oh my god, if I pronounce that completely wrong, followers from China, please excuse me, I really gave my best. Or if you're flying around Frankfurt Airport, close to where my hometown is, that is a Category A no-fly zone. The inner circle with a radius of 1.5 miles shows the actual no-fly zone. A takeoff is impossible and you can't hijack the newest Boeing with your Phantom. The outer circle is a height limited area. At 1.5 miles off the center you can fly up to 35 feet high. That increases to 400 feet at 5 miles off the center. Look at the graphic. You get it, right? 1.5 miles is 35 feet and uh, 5 miles is 400 feet. Bang. 100 meters before entering the outer circle, you get a pop-up message on your phone if flying with the DJI Vision app that informs you on how close you are to a restricted area. The no-fly zones feature only works with a strong GPS signal. If the signal is too weak, the copter doesn't know where you are and can't tell if you're flying within a restricted area or elsewhere. Let's say you maneuvered your copter into the inner circle of a no-fly zone while the copter had a weak signal. Now the copter regains a strong GPS signal. What happens? Now that the copter knows it's flying within a no-fly zone, it immediately starts the landing process. While it goes down, you can still move it forwards, backwards, right and left to get it away from the runway, for example, but you can't lift the copter up anymore. If the copter regains a strong GPS signal while operating within the outer circle, it will immediately sink to the maximum allowed height. It won't land. As you remember, a height between 35 and 400 feet, depending on how far you're away from the center of the no-fly zone, is possible. And there's one more simple restriction. You can't set a waypoints course within an 8 kilometers or 5 miles radius around no-fly zones. Category B zones are a little simpler. They mostly cover smaller airports. With category B no fly zones, there's only one circle. It has a radius of 0.6 miles, which is about 1 km, and you can't take off within that circle. Of course, you receive a warning message on your phone 100 meters before you enter a category B zone too when flying with the DJI Vision app. Also, if you enter a category B no fly zone by mistake, and the copter regains a strong GPS signal, it will start the landing process immediately and setting waypoints isn't possible within an 8km radius as well. Music